Brilliant last call through of that set, wasn't it? Just so exciting. Uh, I mean, this is what men's doubles is known for. It's explosive, dynamic play. He's done this every single game. Taking his shoe off after one game, retying it. Meanwhile, in the uh, practice area, Imogen Bankier and Chris Adcock warming up ahead of their mixed doubles final against Zhang Nao and Zhao Yunlei. They said uh, in, in practice yesterday when they were warming up, they just kept looking across the net to each other and grinning because you couldn't believe they were in a semi final. They're in a final now. That's coming up next, of course, on this finals day at Wembley in these World Championships. Well, it's going to be hard now for Ko and Yu to pick up the pieces of losing out on those three game points. They show great spirit in coming back in that first game when it looked to be slipping away from them. Had a brilliant run, didn't they? From 13-8 down to charge ahead. Second game. Level play. Extraordinary. <laughs> I don't believe that. Does it? It's even. Oh my god. I wonder why. I wasn't sure actually what happened the first time I saw it. Of course, it doesn't count because it went out, but. Nothing is impossible, obviously. The big shame was he didn't land in. Yeah. Well, that would have been the shot of the championship. <laughs> By distance. Yeah, they're fed up of laying them off the floor now. Yes! Yeah, that was good. Good advantage already here for Kai and Fu. Thought I heard Kai Yun say yes in English. Yes, he did. You were saying about his uh, English tattoo yesterday, weren't you? Yes, he's got a tattoo across his back that says face of adversity. And considering what he's been through in life, he's had heart surgery, there was a problem with one of the valves in his heart. You know, and since then he's become one of the world's greatest athletes. You know, this is the game of badminton is so dynamic and so explosive that, you know, for him to come through that sort of difficulty, it's no wonder he's chosen that phrase to have tattooed on his back. Two, three. Well, they're showing they're very gritty, determined to make the most of a, a gold medal opportunity here. The Koreans co and you. But that's well wide. Right idea. Just overdid it. You've got to ride your luck. So, so Three, four. I'm just waiting for the next trick shot. Oh! So, so 
times now for Co and you. Six, yeah, it is, and it's, from my perspective, a little bit bewildering. I know, you know, within the game situation, you're going to have to take little pauses. Oh, look at that. That's over 300. Fastest of the tournament. It was coming, wasn't it? Yeah. But going back to my point, Richard, I, I think that the Koreans, I, I don't understand, even if they're trying to take a, a little physical pause in the match, why they're defending so much. As I said in the opening game, if they get to win this, they have to take away the attacking play of the Chinese pair, because as you've just seen, you know, the Chinese, when they are attacking, you can hit smashes at 300 kilometres an hour. You're going to get down with it, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, they managed to turn it around and get attacking in a similar stage in the opening game. They put up one set down, 8-3 down. Has their opportunity of being 2018 up in that first set. Has that golden opportunity already passed them by? Oh, 